favorite for today's Pocono 500 here on TNT. Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon were on the front row. Qualifying was rained out. So the field was set by the rule book. Tony lost a car in practice here on Saturday. He moves to the rear of the field, so the entire inside line will move up. So joining Gordon on the front row will be Jimmy Johnson, his Hendrick teammate. And Kurt Busch is also slated in row two. Back in row three, you'll find Ryan Newman getting ever so close to a win. And Kyle Busch, who got the nationwide win last night, but has really struggled at this track. Row four, Denny Hamlin has had a lot of success here. And you heard Lindsay talk about Matt Kenseth, the former series champion, looking for a win at Pocono. And row five, Greg Biffle, another guy that looks ready to win week after week. And there's Jeff Burton. In row six, Carl Edwards. He's a past Pocono winner. And Mark Martin, six second place finishes here, no wins. David Ruderman got the win at Lowe's Motor Speedway next to defending race champion Casey Kane. Back in row eight, Juan Pablo Montoya, who really had his hands full in practice, and Clint Boyer for Richard Childress Racing. Row nine, Brian Vickers. Ryan Pepperdine is crew chief, and there's Dale Earnhardt Jr. We heard from Lance McGrew on the countdown to green. We'll be watching that car as well today. Martin Truex Jr., his car is green today. We'll show you that. Marcus Ambrose, one of the good stories from 2009 in row 10. Row 11, Casey Mears. The driver that Kyle says is getting better and better every week. We'll see how he does here. He's back there with Jamie Question. Which drivers have had six second place finishes at a track without a win? Now we mentioned that Mark Martin is one of them. Six second place finishes without a win here. We won't hold you in suspense. Bobby Allison, six second place finishes at Martinsville. Field working through turn two for turn three. Tony Stewart started the race at the back of the field next to Robbie Gordon. He's already moved his way up. Keep those RPMs up. And, whoo, boy, it looks like it's slippery up there. But, yeah, you can see there, someone's always going to try to bottom. Yeah. I mean, you're going to see if there's going to be any any grip down there. You see Kurt Busch giving it a shot. But you see, just exactly like you said, Wally, you see the 24 power back on the outside because he's got the momentum. Kurt's car's pretty stout down that front stretch, though. This will be a good indicator right here as he go through turn one. You see the high side right there. You keep the RPMs wound up, but you know what? Yep. Looks like the 24 is going to get off the corner. I'll tell you what, you're right, Kyle. That two car has got a pony in it. Yeah. Now, you saw him go through three and four, or two turn three side by side. You saw him go through.